Today I'm gonna to show you how to go full-time on YouTube and despite what a lot of people think, you do not need a ton of subscribers. You do not need 100 million views on every video you put out. You don't gotta be a big channel to go full-time on YouTube. I personally have been full-time on YouTube for about five years now and when I first went full-time, I think my channel was around like 10, 15,000 subscribers, not getting a lot, a lot of views. And my wife is actually full-time on YouTube as well. And right now she's sitting at around six, 7,000 subscribers. So if we can do it, I'm sure you can too with everything I'm gonna give you in this video, but all the pieces have to be there. That's a big thing. So don't skip through any parts of this because you'll probably miss something that you have to have in place. First one, and this gets way too overlooked. A lot of people go on YouTube and they kind of post sporadically. You cannot get away with that if you want to try to go full time on YouTube. Now, I'm not saying you have to post daily. The minimum, though, that I would say is to post at least one video a week and make sure that video isn't just like so so. I mean, from time to time, you can maybe get away with that, you know, if you're just short on time, but do everything you can to get a good quality video out. Now, in my experience, I found trying to make videos a little bit longer tends to help, but with a caveat, you can't just make it long for the sake of making it long. So for that one weekly video, you want it to be, you know, seven, eight, maybe up to 10, 12 minutes with great content. So maybe having, you know, good entertainment involved. Maybe if you're teaching how to do something, it's all really helpful information, right? Like in this video, I might make it a little longer, but I'm gonna make sure everything I give you is something actionable, something you can apply to help you reach the goal, the main goal that the video is about. Same with your video, whatever you're making about, everything should work towards the main goal of that video. If it's to entertain, every little piece has to entertain. If it's to teach someone how to do something, everything you should do should teach them how to do it better or more detailed or go through a part of the process that other people don't cover, right? Or maybe even give little examples of why it'll work so it gives them more reason to say, okay, yeah, I'm gonna try this. All those little things can add value to the video while still extending it. But if you don't get that one quality video in a week, it's gonna be really hard to have consistent growth. YouTube is gonna notice after a while, especially if you're newer to YouTube, that, okay, this person's posting every single week and after you know, like 10, 12, 13 weeks, they're gonna say, okay, they're here to stay. You know, A lot of times it might even take up to a year. So you have to play the long game. YouTube is not like a get rich quick thing. Now I'm gonna show you how to you know, make a full-time income on it much quicker, but this part has to be in place. So you can't just you know, think that you're gonna post videos you know, once every few months and you know, then I'll just put 10 videos out in a week and that's gonna work. It's not gonna work so hot that way. One video a week, be consistent, Try not to you know, get excited when you got a bunch of videos ready because there's gonna be times in your schedule, times in your day where maybe you get busy and now, okay, this week I can't do a video. I shouldn't have posted 10 videos last week because now I don't have one for this week, right? You gotta account for that. So what I really recommend you do is pace yourself, but at the same time, put in enough work to put out a good quality, slightly longer video every single week. Now I know what you're thinking. Okay, if I put out those videos every week, you know, maybe I'll grow, you know, somewhat quick and I'll get to like 10, 20,000 subscribers or wherever you're at. You know, maybe you'll get a little bit bigger than where you are. And I think we all know like most channels don't really like kill it on ad revenue until you get a really high amount of subscribers, right? So you need something else in place to help you make more of that money. We'll talk more about that in, at the end, but stay with me. I can guarantee you, you can go full-time on YouTube. You know, a lot of people can do it in a year or less without having tons of views, but getting that one video a week is gonna help put in place what we need later. The second thing you need to have is optimization. Now, do not just look at this, please do not just look at this as search engine optimization. I know this is the thing like all the YouTube gurus talk about. I know this is the thing that maybe you always see and you're like, yes, this is what I need to do. This is how I can get more views. I'm not saying search engine optimization is bad. Not by any means. It has a place when you have a smaller, newer channel, it's a great way to start getting a few views and you know, getting a possibility for you to show up somewhere where people can see your videos because maybe you don't want to share it with all your friends and family and say, hey, come watch my video and they really don't care what you're making videos about. And even then, like if you do get them watching it, that's only gonna be so many views, right? So search engine optimization can be good for that, but that's not where the big views come from. The big views come from suggested browse, showing up in the home feed, things like that. So how do you do that? Well. You could suggested engine optimize your video. So look at a video that's 
you know, on YouTube that's getting a lot of views or, you know, pretty good amount of views that's maybe on a channel that has more subscribers than you or close to the amount of subscribers, but typically it's a video that's getting a fair amount of views, more views than you typically get. When you find that video, you want to figure out how can you make a video that relates to that video that would be like a logical next step or the bigger and better version or a similar version, right? You're going to make a video about whatever that video was about, but with a little bit of a twist, your own personality, your own little tips or your own little entertainment spin to it. But that's part of how you can rack up a lot of views. The other part for both search and suggested is paying attention to your metrics. So go to the back end of your YouTube and look at your click-through rate on your thumbnails. Go through the different metrics for your audience retention. The longer you can keep people on your videos, the better you're typically gonna perform. So just making a long video, as we talked about earlier, isn't enough. If you have a 10 minute video and it's really boring, if it's boring as not, and people only watch 30 seconds and they leave, you're not gonna do so good. So paying attention to your audience retention graphs, you can take a look at why do people leave my video? What do they stay for? What do they find interesting? Where are the spikes? Where are the dips? So you can see, okay, this is what I should do more of, and this is what I should do less of. Pretty simple stuff, but without looking at those audience retention graphs, you cannot know what's working in your videos. Same with your thumbnails. You gotta be looking at your click-through rates, but also with those click-through rates, keeping in mind what your title is, right? So a big tip I can give you is, with your optimization, you don't wanna just think about search terms. Like That's what a lot of people think you should do. Also think about people human beings, what are they gonna find enticing? Make something that's gonna be enticing. Like don't just make how to cook spaghetti, make how to cook spaghetti in five minutes or less. How to make the world's best spaghetti in five minutes or less. How to make zucchini spaghetti with Alfredo sauce. I don't know, you know, come up with something that's a little bit different from what people typically see, something that intrigues them enough that they have to see it. Now with that bigger, better idea, it's a lot easier to make a really good title and an enticing thumbnail to increase that click-through rate, but the subject matter that itself will be a lot better, right? So guess what else is going up? That audience retention. Two really big factors, that click-through rate and that audience retention to how your video is gonna perform in the eyes of YouTube. So now that you got high click-through rate and high audience retention in the eyes of YouTube, that video is gold. They're gonna push that video out more and suggest it. So when you're watching a video on YouTube on desktop, all those videos that are showing up on the right-hand side, or if you're on a mobile device, they'll show up down below. You have a much better chance of showing up there and in people's home feeds. So now YouTube's pushing out to people right when they come to YouTube and it's like, oh, what's this video? Your video will be introduced to all these people that never heard of you before. And not to mention, the more people are clicking through and watching your videos and watching longer of your videos, YouTube will actually put them in the subscription feed because as we know nowadays, YouTube doesn't necessarily show your video to people that are subscribed to you. But if they are clicking consistently to watch your videos and watching the whole video, much better chance you'll actually get in people's subscription feeds that have subscribed to you and also get notified that click the notifications, which is supposed to be the thing that guarantees you see the video, but for some reason people don't. So getting those pieces right is huge, but having your big idea right is very, very important. Now there are some exceptions to this longer video rule. There are some channels that do well with really short videos and posting frequently or just the video is short but so good that people watch the whole thing and come back to the next one. And that's a strategy you could use as well. But personally, I found for me and a lot of the channels I've helped doing the longer videos as long as they're good is the way to go. So assuming you're posting consistently at least once a week with a quality slightly longer video and you're optimizing that video by making it more clickable and so people watch it longer and suggest it or search engine optimizing it, now you should be getting a lot more views, right? And from those views is where you're really gonna make your money. Now it's not from ad revenue. Yeah, ad revenue is a pretty decent source of income, but for me, like ad revenue is like the cherry on top. I don't look at ad revenue as like, oh sweet, I made this much on YouTube ad revenue from AdSense this month. Let's go out and have a steak dinner. No, that's not how it works. Not even close. 90% of my income does not come directly from YouTube as far as the ad revenue. It comes from the traffic that I've got on YouTube. So all the people watching me is quote unquote traffic. It's people that are interested, people that know, like, and trust me, right? And from that, I can generate sales for my, what I consider actual business. Now, YouTube, don't get me wrong, is part of my business, but I don't look at it as like, this is what I do, you know? I'm, I am a YouTuber, but it's not like YouTube is my money. And if I ever got to the point where AdSense was like enough for me to like re live really well just on that alone, it still would be a small percentage of what I actually make in my money. And most people that are really being smart with maximizing their potential on YouTube are doing the same thing. So. Here is what I recommend you do. 
watch this YouTube video. I'm gonna show you the main things you have to have in place to make YouTube your traffic source and then have an actual business built around it. It is super powerful and literally will shortcut the amount of time it takes for you to go full time. Check that video out, you're gonna love it. If this video helps, subscribe and click the bell icon to catch the newest videos and I'll see you in that video next.